Hey guys, I'm Super Bucky, and usually I'm a Frenchie which is doing a tutorial. Guess what? In French, but today is not a normal day. It's 1st of April, and I will try something different. My first unread tutorial in English! Okay, YouTube. Today we'll see together how to install Nextcloud on your Unread server easily, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the dashboard of my Unread server. Oh wait, before starting, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Before installing Nextcloud, we'll create a folder that will be served to store your data pictures, videos, whatever you want. Let's go to share and add share. Data next cloud, use cache pool. And I won't use cache pool because I don't need speed to store this kind of data, but feel free to use it if you want. Feel free to edit your share settings. The purpose of this video isn't to explain how to edit a share, but if you want a video about share settings, leave a comment. Now we're going to apps. Now we're going to the app sections and looking for MariaDB. Click to install. I won't use bridge network type, but my own Docker network, which is called ASB Lab. If you want to use your own one, open a terminal and use the docker network create command line, easy. But here we need to edit the mysql root password. I will use super bulky, not really safe but it's just for this video and apply. Install complete, let's click on MariaDB containers and open console and now we can create our next cloud database. But the command line MySQL, you root the password, super bulky. We are creating a next cloud user identified by password, password not really safe. Feel free to use your own password. Now we are giving all privileges on the next cloud user. And we can get. Bye bye. My friends. Now it's time to install Nextcloud. Let's go. I'm using the Linux servers repository. Still using my custom network. The good way to use Nextcloud is uh, with an SSL certificate and we need the 443 port. We'll see how to use it in the reverse proxy port. So I will edit the host port with 4 Eight, eight. Feel free to adjust with your own container pass. We'll use our data next cloud share. That's it. You can apply. Installation done. Let's start next cloud. It means the connection isn't safe. Advanced settings and continue. It's time to create our administrators. Here you can leave the data folder, which is mapped in our container, database configuration, MariaDB, and we can use our next cloud users, our very safe password, I mean password, database name, next cloud, and the localhost is the IP address and the port of your uh, MariaDB containers. Let's see. Use this one. And click. Such a big suspense. A few moments later. Yeah, great. It's working. Now, login and password users. And welcome to my next cloud server. Let's go to settings. Have a look to the overview. And you can see some warning. And we need to fix this. First of all, we need to set 
the subdomain for our Nextcloud server. I'm using Nginx Proxy Manager and I will add a new proxy host for our Nextcloud server. I'm using this subdomain which is already generated. We are working on HTTPS and here we need to use the local IP address uh, of our Nextcloud container which is um, this one and remember the port 488 block common exploit of course of course yes we'll generate uh, SSL certificates yes yes and yes I agree and save our proxy host is successfully generated and now we should access to nextcloud with nextcloud.superbookylab.fr let's see what well, a surprise it's not working because we need to edit some config files go back to unread and left click on nextcloud console and use the command nano in the trusted domain section we are just adding our subdomain and in the overwrite CLI URL section remove our local IP address and using our subdomain save and restore ok it's working let's see settings and overview ok we still have some warning a few moments later ok found it uh, let's go back to our proxy manager in SSL port this things needs to be set refresh et voila the only thing is about the default for region set so I'm just adding the default for region set to JV exit yes and restore again my next cloud container and everything is working great we can check the security of our next cloud let's see what a good rate easy well done guys our next cloud server is correctly installed my accent is still awful sorry if you like my videos feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel and YouTube, we never know. If I can reach good visibility with these videos in English, I could try sometimes to make some. It was super bookie from France. Salut YouTube!